time to Wayne Walker Headline Sports. It was Saturday night at the fights. Well, if you want to call it that, as a matter of fact, the balance of this sports cast is actually longer than the fight itself. Mike Tyson bumped off Bruce Selden in 1 minute 49 seconds of round number one. So surprise, surprise, the WB heavyweight champion of the world is Mike Tyson. I'm Darren Sutton, Headline Sports. Mike Tyson now owns the WBC and the WBA heavyweight titles after a TKO of Bruce Selden just under two minutes into the fight. After a grazing blow put Selden on the mat for the eight count, he dropped him with the left and the fight was over. Some fans appeared dissatisfied with what they saw as the chance of fix could be heard in the crowd. The other people that complained were the people that had cheap seats. They were wearing the top. They couldn't see it. Well, you had a good view. Tell us what it was like. Um, it was a pretty good punch, I do. No, I'm not about saying I'm the great. I'm not into that all-time great stuff. Whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm just in here to win fights. And on pay-per-view and all sales are final. A solid industry if you're not on the pay side of things, Reese. <laughs> Mike Tyson was a 17-to-1 favorite to take the WBA heavyweight title from Bruce Seldon on Saturday night. But odds don't cause Iron Mike to throw caution to the wind. Tyson says, quote, I know when guys fight me, they fight the greatest fight of their life, end quote. The problem is the greatest fight of one's life has only toppled Tyson once in his 45 professional bouts, but Selden Tyson's most credible post-prison opponent is convinced the fight of his life will be lost number two for arguably the world's best fighter. Tyson in, looking solid. Selden, a little less intense. In fact, possibly a little cocky there. Early on, Tyson connects with a solid left. Selson, Selden tried to jab, but instead ended up looking scared throughout. Tyson grazed Selden with a right on the head, but he was still knocked down. Tyson would land a solid punch. Selden would get up. That, uh, Tyson would land a solid left that would send Tel Selden back to the canvas. Sel Selden tried to stand, but fell back in the corner. Ref Richard Steele called the fight at 149 of the first round. This was Tyson's third quickest knockout in a title fight and probably the quickest you ever lost 40 bucks in your life. <laughs> At 109 seconds in all, Tyson's reasoning for the quick result, quote, I'm punching harder these days. Our Al Bernstein is in Vegas and saw the whole thing, what people are calling a fix, Al. So on Saturday night here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Mike Tyson wins the WBA version of the heavyweight crown, knocking Bruce Selden down twice in the first round in a devastating performance. Our Mark Schwartz talked to both fighters afterwards. I hit with a right hand on top of the head, and he went down, and he, I was throwing pretty hard punches. Well, well, were you surprised that he went down on that, on that right? Because it seemed like he was slipping to start. I believe it hurt. I was throwing hard punches. The first knockdown was more... I would have to say it was more of an elbow that, that must have touched a nerve or something. But the first knockdown was definitely not a fake. You know, he hit me. You clearly came out on the attack. You were not going to dance and move with this guy. You wanted to eliminate him. Of course. I'm in the hurt business, and I'm, I'm the best at what I do, and that's why I do it. Tell me about the second knockdown. What, was it a left uh, hook? It was a left hook, yes. I was just throwing punches with tremendous effect, and that's my main interest. I was calm, relaxed. I was cutting the ring off. Um, took away all his mobility with his jab. If you look at the tape, you know, the second punch is a very clean shot. He caught me right on the point of my chin. And I was just, I was just rattled. I was just rattled. You know, there's no question about it. You know, the guy hits very hard. You have fought less than eight rounds in five years. Do you even know how good you are right now? Well, you know, I put so much out in the gym, and um, I guess every time I try, it's wars in the gym every day. Everything I go to the gym and train and spar is a fight every day. So um, I guess that's, that's why I put my work in it. Nine weeks from tonight, Evander Holyfield. He's in a lot of trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. You know, it's five years later, and the same thing going to happen that was going to happen in 1991. You know, I'm going to still be victorious, and I'll still be the champ. Joined now by USA Today's John Saracino. And John, a very confident Evander Holyfield as he gets set for his November 9th fight against Mike Tyson. Some bravado there, but then we saw a lot of bravado from Bruce Selden leading up to his fight Saturday night with Tyson. Yes, we did, Al. You know, many, many years ago, the MGM produced the picture, The Wizard of Oz. Saturday night, Bruce Selden came into the ring and gave us lions and tigers and Tyson. Oh, my. That's how afraid Bruce Elden was. I think he was determined not to take a beating, and that's why he looks so confident all the time. You know, it did appear that the one right hand that uh, Mike Tyson hit him with, or nearly hit him with, to knock him down the first time, was a very grazing punch. It just didn't look like it had much on it. Well, 
I mean, I felt the breeze from where I was sitting at ringside. I don't know if a punch landed or not. It didn't appear on the replay that that was the case. Certainly the second punch, the left hook by Mike Tyson, that landed and Richard Steele stopped the fight. Ironically, Bruce Seldon is a much improved boxer, but he didn't show it against Mike Tyson. Well, when Tyson gets in the ring against Evander Holyfield, we assume, and I'm sure it's true, it'll be a much tougher battle. Holyfield has never lacked for courage, heart, or skill in the ring. But that's one of his problems, Al. He loves to rumble in the ring. He's got a lot of heart. He will stand there and fight you. Against Mike Tyson, that is a prescription for disaster. He has to box and try to punch, pick his spots. Also, Evander has a lot of wear and tear in his body. That spells trouble. So will Evander Holyfield be able to call upon those skills he once had as a cruiserweight and in his early days as a heavyweight? We'll see on November 9th. For John Saracino and Mark Schwartz, I'm Al Bernstein at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Wayne Walker Headline Sports. It was Saturday night at the fights. Well, if you want to call it that, as a matter of fact, the balance of this sports cast is actually longer than the fight itself. Mike Tyson bumped off Bruce Seldon in 1 minute 49 seconds of round number one. So surprise, surprise, the WB heavyweight champion of the world is Mike Tyson. With boxing, and you know, Peter McNeely's not looking so bad right now. Yeah, not, not bad at all. You know, Bruce Seldon really, all week he's gone out of his way to praise Mike Tyson. And tonight it seemed that Seldon stepped into the ring, bowed down, paid homage, and bowed out. Seldon lasts just 20 seconds longer than Peter McNeely, but at least McNeely charged across the ring and took a few wild swings at Iron Mike. More than can be said for Bruce Seldon. Nick Charles is in Las Vegas. Nick, you were there. Maybe you can shed some light on what appears to be another disappointing night for fight fans. Mike, it took a minute 49 for Mike Tyson to annex another chunk of the heavyweight championship. But Bruce Seldon appeared too willing a victim as a shocked crowd and a bewildered Nevada State Athletic Commission watched Seldon hit the deck twice. The first knockdown was ruled or thought to be a slip by Richie Steele, the referee. To others, it looked like a dime. The second knockdown came from a good Tyson left hook, but hardly the evening-ending blow it became. There was definitely no fix in that fight. You know, like I said earlier, I didn't, I didn't train 12 weeks to come in here and take no dive. I wanted to keep, continue to hold on to my title. It's just Mike Tyson's such a great fighter, you know what I'm saying? He's a devastating fighter, and I tell all the guys that's going to fight him, you got to do more than train hard. You got to just, I don't know what you got to do. Well, we weren't in that ring, but we saw the first knockdown, and it looked like a slip even to Richie Steele, who didn't start counting. The first knockdown was more... I would have to say it was more of an elbow that, that must have touched a nerve or something. But the first knockdown was definitely not a fake. You know, he hit me, he grazed me, you know, and, 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 and I had my head down. And the only solution for me to do was to, was to go down. You, you, you see, the first knockdown, I got right back up. Obviously, the first knockdown to the crowd didn't look good. But when, when a, a kid like Tyson's throwing punches, no matter where he hits you, to the top of the head or not, staggers you. Have you looked at the replays, though? It looked like he hit him with a jab, missed with a right, and just leaned on him, and down one Seldon. I, I, I saw some of it, from the, but I haven't looked at it real closely yet. But I heard all the crowd yelling. Almost lost in the tremendous swirl of controversy was Tyson's victory. He told us right after that his game plan was clear and direct. Attack like a heat-seeking missile. You know, I, mean, I was just relaxed, and my, my objective was just to cut the ring off and add a great deal of pressure and throw extremely hard punches. <laughs> what happened then when you hit him? I mean, we saw the replays. You hit him with a left, you missed with a right, and you seemed to cuff him, and he went down. Um, I was just throwing hard punches. I mean, I don't know what will happen. I, you know, I hit him solidly with the first one that he went down with, and I just came, and I don't know. I was just throwing the punches. I was watching the precision of his punches because I was doing the best I could to get out of the way of his punches and throw my punches at the same time. So in my style of fighting, I have like a fraction of a second to throw punches that I think what's going on. I know you wanted to go out and create aggression. Then when he got up, took the standing eight count, you hit him with a left. I mean, it didn't look, I know you're a pulverizing puncher. It looked like a good punch, but how solid was it? Because the crowd thought this guy went down. Well, you know, I mean, the, the people that complained were the people that had cheap seats. They were wearing the top. They couldn't see it. Well, you had a good view. Tell us what it was like. Um, it was a pretty good punch, I do. Well, next up for Mike Tyson, if he could fill the seats here at the MGM Grand Arena, Evander Holyfield, November 9th. On the un undercard, IBF champion Michael Moore fighting Francois Botha. The winners are expected to fight in March. Also, Riddick Bowe will get his rematch with Andrew Galata December 14th 
in Atlantic City. But that's the story on a controversial night here in Las Vegas to the minute. Uh, Bruce Selden has a lot of soul searching to do. He said he just wants to take some time off, and he is clearly embarrassed at what happened. Nick, let's look ahead. Uh, Evander Holyfield was very prominent tonight, ringside. He was at the post-fight uh, press conference. Maybe this fight, uh, Holyfield-Tyson, is five years too late, but what does Evander Holyfield have to do to survive and maybe even beat Mike Tyson? Can he do it? Boy, I don't think he can at all. I think Tyson is sharp and at the top of his game. I don't think his game plan is going to change at all. I think Evander Holyfield's style is custom-made. He's right in front of Mike Tyson to be hit. He doesn't back off. He doesn't have a lot of defense, and he's clearly clearly slid down the ladder in terms of effective skills, Mike. So I consider it another short and maybe very brutal ending in November. All right, thanks, Nick. At least we can bank on Evander Holyfield putting on a better show come November. As for banking it, Mike Tyson takes home $15 million for 1 minute 49 of work. Bruce Seldon banks $5 million. Was Bruce Seldon beaten by Tyson or by the fear of Tyson? Was it the punch or was it the fear of the punch? Fight or fright? You be the judge. Selden. Tyson. On Showtime. America's number one boxing network. Down goes Selden, and I can't believe it. See it tonight, only on Showtime. You're watching Showtime's three-day weekend. Tonight at 8, go ringside for all the knockout action when Mike Tyson battles Bruce Selvin on Showtime Championship Boxing.